Final mission is the supreme shape. The last challenge is another fill-in job. Why this shape? I just like it, that's all. Use it to make a dungeon I'll like too, okay? Yeah, we're making a Z now. I think it's a little bit um, weird that they use this as the final... Yeah. I think the previous mission would have suited better because this is just the Z for Zelda. Come on. I can understand this mission, but it could have better turned it around. Alright, I will see you when I'm done arranging, because obviously this is just make another shape, so nothing too special to say in the arranging. It's going to be fast forward again. There we go. It's a little bit of an annoyance. But definitely not undoable, as you can see. Let's get into this final one. Right, and don't forget about the whole reason we were doing this in the first place. Not just for the 100% clearance only, we also need a lot of ruples. The ruples is what we were here for. I don't think we have enough, to be honest. Um, we have a couple of things we still need to buy. With a couple of things, I mean all of the remaining chamber stones. With the exception of one. The final one we get after beating the game. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Games putting in stuff you can only get after defeating the entire game. But alas, that is the case. This newer version of Link's Awakening has uh, expanded the trendy game, as you may know. In the original game you only had to do it twice. For the Yoshi doll and the heart piece, if I don't mistake. And uh, yeah, they put in a crap ton of more prizes in this version. And the most notable one is of course... All the figures that you need to collect and uh, yeah, one of them, the final one, appears after you defeat the entire game. You, you've, you've seen every single time we beat a dun- oh, we need to beat this guy. Every single time we beat a dungeon, new figures unlock, but that is not where it ends. I'm just gonna power my way through you, because you are no threat with my uh, way too powerful sword. And yeah, it's not where it ends. Clearing dungeon 8 does not give us all of the figurines remaining. One of them is given after beating the game, so this is unfortunately going to be a game where I need to come back after the credits for one measly thing, the final figure. And getting that final figure, that is what gives you... Bye. <laughs> that is what gives you the final chamber stone in this. So. And that one is going to be until after the game has been cleared fully. But the other... I can throw you on the pot, so let's get you out of the way first. Oh, it's this one where you need to go from up here. Aha, I know how puzzles work. I've played more Zelda than this. Let's make sure I don't forget anything, because I won't be seeing this part of the dungeon in a while. Get off me. Within a while, I mean never again. Once I get past here. Ow. 
Is there... Yeah, there's chests up here. Switches over here. And with all of this uh, stuff still going on... One more figurine f after the game for the final chamber stone. And one more I need to get regularly. That's uh, 10 rupees per try. I don't think it's going to take too long. So I won't be thinking that might take over 100 rupees. But let's go worst case scenario and uh, think that trendy game still needs... Um, I need to still spend 100 rupees for. That's already 100 rupees I still need. Uh, and other than that, it's just buying those six remaining chamber stones. Those are 1280 rupees per piece. So that is over 7,000 rupees. It's 7,500 and something. Don't ask me to do math while I'm playing a dungeon which I just created and did not remember in memory. So I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it's around uh, 7,500 rupees. And I'm pretty sure I have around 5,500 right now. So I'm pretty sure I still need to grind for 2,000 more rupees when I am done with this. So I need to off-screen that, I am afraid. I was hoping that was not necessary. There was actually one case where that was not necessary. When I did this game for the first time. When it released in September 2019. I remember when I 100%ed the game. Or went for 100%. I actually did not to have to grind for more rupees. When I wanted to buy the final chamber stones. In the shop. And it's probably because of uh, one important reason. I did the game for the first time and even though I have played Link's Awakening over a hundred times in my over hundred times in my life, it was the first time I played this version. So there were a lot of things that were still new to me and I was looking for, most notably hard pieces and secret seashells. And of course the chamber stones in general. Some of the mini games that got expanded. This for instance, so there were a couple of well a couple of all of the mini games actually I spent a lot more time in and therefore gotten a lot more rupees out of them so that's probably the reason I ended up with a lot more rupees in the end and because of that I apparently didn't have to grind for rupees in the end and I'm pretty sure I do have to do it now because I in all honesty never checked my rupee balance after I w went in here but these chamber dungeons give you 300 rupees per mission well there are 12 of these missions in the special missions so if you take that in consideration, I've already gotten myself a couple of thousand rupees from this, but I am sure it is not going to be enough for everything. I don't think I need to spend anything else anymore. Most of the... Yeah, this wing is done now. Yeah. Yeah, I placed one staircase in here because I was afraid I was going to run out of... Uh, single exit rooms which they basically did of course I had a couple of, of, of them left but I did not want to use ones with staircases because yeah that would uh, take away the whole issue I was trying to avoid them I didn't want to put in staircases so if I end up uh, putting in rooms with staircases then I take away my problem so I thought I'm going to put one staircase in so I can uh, quickly fill in one of these wings. And hopefully the rest of the dungeon won't need any staircases. And that I did successfully. Just not forget to kill all of these guys. Uh, come on. I did not realize the door was locked. Right, we're going through the narrow section of the Z now. Only place room. I did not have to kill these guys. <laughs> And I'm getting confused. I don't care for the Beemos. I have way too many hearts. Oh, this again. I really need to be careful what rooms I am placing. 
when you are placing you think oh this looks easy this looks like a room that wouldn't be too much of a hazard only to realize that when you are in the dungeon you've placed a room that actually requires you to wait for a long time because there's floor tiles in it and the doors lock <laughs> Don't be so mean, game. Even though the, the game is not mean, I'm the one be being mean to myself for not realizing what these rooms actually are. <laughs> well, I can be such a doofus sometimes. That's why most people like me who watch me, I've noticed. I'm such a doofus sometimes. I quickly exchange awesome gameplay with silly goofiness. And that is what I am here for. Sometimes the big failure show, sometimes the big success show. Success show. Don't come up with sentences where I trip over. English is hard enough for me. <laughs> Alright, this should be the final stretch, people. We only got these couple of rooms in the south end. South, south, south. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. I've been doing this for way too long. I don't know if it's obvious, but I've been making one full stretch out of this. I don't need to kill you. This is not a lot. I really am uh, starting to lose it, guys. I really start uh, mixing things up now. <laughs> I really start... Really? Did I put this guy in here? I can't imagine that. Did I really not pay attention? <laughs> if I get hit by this guy, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna get thrown back so far. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> It's pretty obvious I'm tired right now, so I ha I'm losing focus a little bit, so... Uh, I was really afraid... Oh man, my loss of focus is going to get myself <laughs> into trouble now. But no, I survived this guy. Really, this dungeon only gave me 33 rupees? Luckily I placed a rupee, ru rupee room in here. And I really can't talk anymore. Because I'm trying to laugh at the same time, because I think my goofing up is also being funny. Even for myself, so I'm trying to laugh all the time. Or trying not to, I mean. And, uh... My trying to hold back is actually, uh... Mostly what is tripping me up right now. Alright, let's get serious. See, if I get serious, I can talk. Aha, we have found the problem. Let's make sure that never happens again. <laughs> I'm laughing again. Oh, I need to kill all the enemies. Ow! Root, spawning on... Inside of me, how dare you? I really love my boomerang, if that isn't obvious. In later playthroughs of Link's Awakening, I've planned one of them uh, being a speedrun, of course. Because of the nature of a speedrun, I actually have to skip the boomerang, so that is going to be a lot more tough because I've really been cheesing with the boomerang. There's a lot of things in this game I have. Um, made hard for myself and um yeah this has happened people i completely forgot a chest my goofiness i just mentioned to a new level <laughs> aha the return of the failure show i've been doing awesome so far and yet Getting one chest. <laughs> Go me. And I'm not going to blame me being tired for that. Because I'm pretty sure <laughs> it would have happened anyway. I need to check my map more often. Every time I do it and one time I forget and you see what happens. That is how it works. Right now we need to get back again. <laughs> ah, we are back. Yeah, this is the reason why I like doing it like this. First take, always. No things like test runs or scripts or everything. I don't want to be perfect. This only proves I am human and I think that is what makes this fun. We are only human. Humans make mistakes, humans forget things. Why would you want to be perfect? I know a crap ton of people who would have just uh, said, Oh, I made a mistake. Starting over. Reload my save file. No way I'm going to keep this in. Well, I'm going to keep this in. Nobody is perfect and you should not be ashamed for that. 
You can be perfect, but you don't have to be. If you play on your own, if you're gaming on your own, you're also going to make mistakes, you're also going to forget things. Perfectly normal. So even in things like this, nothing to be ashamed of. It's my gaming library, and uh, I'd like the gameplay of it to be how I always play my games. So if I normally would make such a mistake, I also make the mistake here. That simple. All right. And now we are completely done. I've hit bedrock when it comes to ideas for challenges. It's time I let you have it at, with whatever you can think of. And with that, we are completely gone. We can of course do... Oh, I have a lot more rupees than I thought I had. 6,450. 6, Let's see how many chamber stones that buys. We are finally in... Uh, what is it? Five episodes? <laughs> Going to leave this place? Go loading screen. Make me wait even longer. <laughs> this episode is 45 minutes already, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be cut up. Sorry I did not uh, say goodbye to you guys in between, but this is not going to be one more episode... Uh, not going to be one episode anymore. Ah, daylight. Oh, apparently I never checked the map for that final section. <laughs> Alright, we are done here. We are not done with the game. We are almost, but we are not completely. We have one more episode planned, but before we go to that final episode, I am going to buy as many chamber stones as I can with the money I have. And come back in the final episode for the rest, where I also complete the trendy game for how far I can complete it, because one price, once again, is not going to show up just yet. And, of course, the finale is also going to entail us completing the game. Completely. After, what is it, seven weeks I've done this now? Alright, my man. You ask a healthy price for this. But you still have six of these left. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I was really surprised every single time I bought one. That he had another one. He's like, what? Another one? How many of these things this guy has? Yep, there's a total of seven. I already bought one. I still need to do six. <laughs> this is the second one, so there's four more. I can buy three more, so I don't need to grind as many rupees. That's a good thing, so... I can finish this off in a minute. Right, this is number... What is it? Eleven? No, ten. One more. I barely have enough for one more. But still, it needs to happen. <laughs> Alright, 51 rupees left. We have got 12 of the 14 chamber stones. Let's give that away now. If you can count, you would have uh, already counted that yourself. There are 14 chamber stones to get. When it comes to collectathon in this game, I've got 12. There's one more going to show up in the shop right now if I leave. And the other one is the ultimate reward for the trendy game, which we cannot get before beating the final boss. So that means I am going to have to grind for rupees on my own time in between this episode and the finale. I am of course going to use the Rapids right for that. That's the best way to grind for rupees now that Chamber Dungeons is not going to give us anything anymore. Unless we start going through the dungeons and just collect rupees in there, but it's not, that's not going to hand out too many rupees. So, I am just going to go through the Rapids right. That's by far the best way to grind for rupees, but I will do that on my own time, of course. When I come back in the finale, I will have more than enough rupees for that final chamber stone and the final trendy game item for now. We need two more, but we can only get one. And then it's a beeline for the end. It's finally happening. We have been side questing for a very long time after Dungeon 8. But we are finally going to finish this game. See you for that next time. Shrieks out. <laughs>